Hello and welcome back to my channel. On this week's episode we're having a look at the Motion Software SimTools 2.6. SimTools is an advanced motion software for running your motion simulator. It can be hard the first time you open it up with so many different options to choose from. With this step-by-step -step guide you will be able to get your motion simulator up and running in no time and start to understand how to make changes and what they do. I'm here to make that a little easier with a start to finish guide for setting up and adjusting your motion simulator. This is the first of four videos covering SimTools and its options. Let's open SimTools with the two SimTools icons the Game Manager and the Game Engine. Let's close the Game Manager as we are looking at the Game Engine and the interface settings in today's video. Let's look down the left hand side of the Game Engine box. You will see five options. Let's click on the interface settings and take a look what's inside. When you open SimTools for the first time you'll see no settings at all. To get started first we need to select the type of input we need for our motion simulator to talk to SimTools. There are many options to select. So let's click on the interface type in the drop down menu and see our options. For today's video we are going to cover and set up the serial interface. These types of motion simulators have two or three DC motors providing the movement to a set of driver boards and their own microprocessor which is connected via USB to the PC. Click on the serial option now. OK. Now here is where it's always important to fill in these settings correctly. The settings I'm inputting are for any EMR motion simulator with and without traction loss. The next drop down is bits per second we want to set this to 500,000. Then our next option is data bits and we set that to 8. Parity is our next setting and we set this to none. The next drop down is stop bits and we are going to set this to 1. Last of all we have the output bit rate we also set this to 10. Ok we are nearly done. Now the final part of the setup is very important and is where many people get lost. I will do my best here to make it simple. There's two types of DC motor motion simulators. There are simulators with traction loss and simulators without. It's very important you know which type you have. Ok let's say you have a motion sim that has no traction loss. If you have an EMR motion simulator your model is called the G2. Let's take a look at the three white bars at the bottom of the page. Select the second one called interface output and type in the following information. A axis 1A. B axis 2A and the set MS to 10. If you have a simulator with traction loss you have one more step. If you look up at the top of the page. You will see some tabs called interface 1, 2. And so on. Here we will set up up a second interface to run the traction loss so let's click interface 2. We just need to fill in the same information into the tabs. When we get to the, the three white bars we again click the second bar interface output and type the following. A axis 1 bb axis 2 bc axis 3 b and set the ms to 10. Now the last thing we need to do is choose the COM port. Each interface will have its own COM port. Enter your COM port from the selection in the drop down. COM1 is the default and not your connection. Your COM port is normally COM port 2 or 3. If there is no COM port numbers in the drop down please check your USB connection and then close SIM tools and reopen it. You should now see your COM ports numbers. You might see two COM port numbers but this only applies to the traction loss version and is usually COM port 2. If you're running a 2DOF sim then you'll only have one COM port number usually COM port 1. Once you have entered the COM port numbers please save before closing any windows. Great work! You have completed the interface setting section and set up sim tools to communicate with your motion simulator. That's it for now. There are a few more steps to get you moving but they're covered in the next video. So please subscribe so you don't miss it. Thanks for taking the time to watch my video please feel free to write in the comments below any questions. Till next time motion simmers. Take care. <laughs>